I'm going to show you how to make a rounded edge cube. Um, now the reason you do this is because if you were to print a square a square edged cube like this one with square corners, what you'd get is a series of vertical ridges where your extrude has changed its change direction or come to a stop depending on if you're using Core XY or a normal Cartesian and your belts vibrate around and it doesn't look very good so we're going to do a rounded edge one this is the traditional way of doing it uh, cube uh, that's your x dimension your y dimension and your z dimension to do this we're going to use four cylinders one on each corner and we're going to wrap the whole thing in a hull command we're going to call our we're also going to do it in a module so we're going to and we're going to call this rounded cube we're going to have three sorry four parameters x dimension y dim z dim and R dim. Uh, we need to call it up here, otherwise nothing's actually going to happen. So we'll make it 20 by 20 by 10 with a 3 millimeter corner radius. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to start off with our first cylinder, which is going to be on the corner, R for radius will be R dim, the height, so H for height, will equal Z dimension. And there's our rather ugly cylinder for the front left corner. Now, as you can see, it's in the wrong position. So we're going to translate that over. We're going to use the R dim values for the X and Y, so it shifts it in the right position, so it puts it in the right position on the X, Y axis. And there we go. Uh, we'll sort out its ugliness in a little bit. Now we need another three of these things. So we're going to copy and paste it. We're going to make the next one here. Now to do this we're going to go, we want it to be the width minus its radius. So we've got our dim there. So we're going to do x dim minus r dim. And there we go. So the x dimension minus its radius dimension. And now we're going to copy, paste those two lines again. We're going to do the same thing for the y axis. So y dimension minus r dim, which is already in the y. in the Y parameter section. And there we go, there's all four cylinders we're going to use. Now, they're not very pretty cylinders and they're going to give us some very awful looking corners. Like this. Oops, forgot the L. And there we go, we've got a rounded corner but it's not very round. So what we're going to do is up here Let's put Fn equals 64 with a dollar sign in front. And what that'll do is that'll round off those corners. It'll, it'll round off the cylinders so they're actually rounded. It basically does them at a higher resolution. And uh, that's it. You have it, your rounded edge cylinder. I'll copy and paste this module into the description below.